Around the Milky Way, there are many smaller satellite galaxies that are orbiting it. Perhaps the most well-known of these galaxies are the two irregular galaxies known as the Magellanic Clouds. In this video, we will cover the small and large Magellanic Clouds, and then we will take a look at the specific type of galaxy that they belong to. The small Magellanic Cloud is the smaller and more distant galaxy. It has a diameter of 7,000 light-years and sits around 200,000 light-years away from the Milky Way. The small Magellanic Cloud is thought to be home to hundreds of millions of stars, many of which are young. It might have originally orbited its larger companion before becoming a satellite of the Milky Way, and there is a lot of evidence showing that the SMC and LMC have interacted frequently in the past. There is even a bridge of stars connecting the two galaxies. The Large Magellanic Cloud is the larger of the two galaxies, with a diameter of around 14,000 light years. It lies roughly 163,000 light years away from the Milky Way. This galaxy is believed to have originally been a spiral galaxy before having its structure disrupted due to gravitational interactions with the Milky Way and SMC. The LMC is expected to collide with the Milky Way in around two and a half billion years. The Large Magellanic Cloud is home to many young stars, and it is seeing rapid star formation since it is so plentiful in gas and dust. In fact, the LMC is home to the Tarantula Nebula, which is the region with the most star formation in the entire local group. In general, irregular galaxies are defined by their lack of structure, not having a central galactic bulge, or any spiral arms. Because of this distinction, there has been some debate whether the LMC is truly an irregular galaxy, as it has a central bar and a loosely defined spiral arm. Because of this, the LMC has since been reclassified as a barred irregular galaxy, which is technically a type of spiral galaxy. Technicalities aside, these irregularly shaped galaxies are often full of gas and dust, making them prime locations for star formation. Thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel, be sure to stick around and subscribe for lots of more content. We'll see you all in the next video.